Hey guys, this is Henry Margu's Farah, and this wig was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One, and I, I just think it's really cute. So I've worn. So I've worn this in a number of videos. You may or may not have seen it, but I really love this style. I have my. I have my Balzano eyeglasses on right now. Shades. <laughs> I really love it. So this wig is, Henry Magu I think makes really beautiful, beautiful wigs. This has a monofilament cap so you can have a very natural parting. It also has a really nice hairline or lace front I should say. Very, very natural looking lace front. The air tabs are beautiful. The, I'm going to show you the back so you can see it. I hope it's not a mess because I have been bopping around the house in this. <laughs> I absolutely love this. And, you know, I know some of you don't believe in wearing masks and some of you wear masks, but if you wear a mask or have to because of your work, your employment, then you know how important it is to be able to put a mask on because I do have to wear a mask when I go to work each day. It is a requirement. I don't, I don't really have a choice. So I really love the fact that I can put a mask on with this wig and it looks fine. You know, it looks absolutely fine. It stays on, it looks good, it doesn't push the hair. It, it, it really, what I was really worried about was like, oh, if I wear a wig and you get the ear tabs, how is the mask going to stay? How is the mask going to fit? So I took my mask off and my lipstick is all smudgy. <laughs> That's the drawback about wearing masks. But I do have some headbands. They are in my motorhome, but I can show you that I can really nicely put this right on top of the, the wig. It stays on. I love the shade. The color is 88GR. And I think it's just a really nice... I think it's a beautiful blend of blonde. It's got some light brown in there. And Henry, like I said, Henry Margot's fibers are really nice. I think his styles are really nice. And I love this color. I love this color. I love this cut. I think the style looks extremely natural on me. There's not a whole, there is some permatease. So if you are a permatease lover, you got some permatease. However, it's not heavy permatease. It's not overwhelming. And the fibers, I think, are very, very realistic. If it didn't have the permatease that it has, this would be like totally flat on my head. And while, you know, having it flat on my head might flatter some people, it doesn't flatter me. So I do like a little bit of permatease. I love how these layers are cut. I do. I love how these layers are cut. They kind of angle towards the front. I don't know if you're noticing that kind of angles towards the front. I just think it's really pretty. I do. I think it's really pretty. So this was sent to me, as I said earlier, complimentary from Wig Studio One. And I so appreciate the fact that they send me wigs on an occasion so that I can share the look with you. I have reviewed this for their channel, and I think you'll probably see that by the time you see this. So I'll make sure I link that full review for you. And I will also include some shots of the inside of the cap right now so you can see what the cap looks like. It is really well constructed. You can see the air tabs. You can see the whole flow of the cap. I love the lace front. I do, I'm partial to Henry Magoo fibers and wigs because I, this will be the fourth one I own, I believe. The fourth one. I love Henry Magoo's products. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of an outside shot here. I got caught in a little bit of a rainstorm. But that's okay. I think you need to be able to see a wig. <laughs> Here I am walking. You need to be able to see a wig and see how it flows outside as well as inside and also the different colors. So, Henry Magu's Farah 88GR. I love it. Thanks so much for watching Monica's Wig Gig. Until the next time, bye guys.